School terms usually run for three months, and until the next holiday, parents relegate their caretaking duties to teachers, matrons, and other school officials. They are supposed to ensure that the children learn, but also acquire important life skills away from books. Cleanliness is one of these skills. Most parents have to deal with treating infections, especially those of the skin, for the one month of holiday. And according to dermatologist and medical director at Chisubi Hospital, Dr. Robert Asawa, these are as a result of poor hygiene coupled with other factors like congestion in schools. They are commonly bacterial and viral infections. Commonest are infections caused by fungus. The commonest fungal infection is ringworm, commonly known as biguna in, the, in the Uganda here. Dr. Asaba says some of these infections are hard to treat. He adds that for this reason, any type of medication applied on the outer skin for ringworms is not effective. The fungus normally tends to survive in the hair, inside the hair follicles, and the, most of the treatments that are applied on the, on the surface are unable to clear the fungus. So you find it keeps on persisting in these students over time. So these uh, medicated shampoos, medicated and fungal soaps, uh, antiseptics tend not to eliminate it fully. It is only tablets that can eliminate the ringworm, the one on the, on the hairs. But the ringworm on the skin, Hcente, the one they call Hcente, that one is easy to treat with just simple antifungal cream. Uh, the other group is uh, a disease caused by uh, parasites or insects, like um, scabies. Scabies is a skin disease caused by a very tiny insect uh, that enters the skin and lays its eggs there and it creates an allergic reaction and you get a generalized very itchy rash. We also have bacterial infections uh, in schools, so still resulting from poor hygiene. Uh, the commonest is, uh, is boils or baby zimba. Whereas these infections are not documented, Dr. Saba says their skin clinic receives about 30 children on skin clinic days, and this number can grow during holidays. The other group of infections we normally see are those infections caused by viruses. The commonest is uh, chickenpox. There is uh, measles of recent, there has been a measles outbreak, so students have been getting these measles at school, and they can also bring it at home. He says schools should be vigilant in monitoring learners' health for quick remedies, which may include isolation in order to prevent further spread. Uh, students should do, avoid sharing personal items like combs, brushes, um, which, which can lead to transmission of the fungus from one person to, to the next. Sharing of clothes should be limited. The other important remedy is eye identification and treatment. If you identify the source of infection and you remove it from the population of students, then you limit the spread to, to the other students. So ideally in schools, uh, there should be health professionals there, school nurses, who should have the skill to identify those who, who have skin problems and treat them early. Dr. Saba also warns that treatment, especially one that contains antibiotics, should be taken as prescribed to avoid resistance by bacteria to medication. Walter Mwesije, NTV.